Hello and welcome to another drawing session. I'm going to be uh, doing some random character designs, but I think I'll just start with some warm-up uh, drawings first. Just do some pose, um, like like yesterday. I mean, like Monday. Just uh, okay. Just please ignore all the noise. I enjoy seeing this work because usually it loves to just glitch out. Oops. Oh. Yeah. It's kind of weird having this work for once. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. Probably because it knows I'm not drawing the comic right now. I apologize for forgetting music on last time I was. I didn't even, since I can't hear it, I didn't even realize that I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> so. Light rain. But, but, but. Thanks for dropping by. Whoop, that's not too loud. Let me see. Okay, there we go. A little better. I don't know, I just get nervous when it goes into the yellow. I'm like, eh, I must be deafening. Some warm ups, then I'll get to work. Let's draw some. Um There's some composites for. Go to my other page. Mm 
Huh, that's a cool one. I need to look some more pictures of sparring. I keep forgetting to. Let's see. Well, let's see. I want to do that right now. Let's see if I can find some. Because that'd be actually even fun for. Uh... I doubt it's going to have anything quality. Usually it's like. Just. Pretty weak stuff. Oops. Why? <laughs> oh, Pinterest. I don't want to buy boxing gloves. I want pictures of people. There we go. <laughs> it's bitter. Trying to loosen up. They're taking a swig of coffee. That was... No. <laughs> Maybe not the smartest thing. <laughs> Stuff. One more. I have some of these. I didn't even know I had all these. for Richard. Well, his body would be more like this. <laughs> He's got the huge upper body. Chip, 
Can win? No, see, I... I jinxed myself. I said it was running good, and then it decided to stop. Why? <laughs> oh, well. That's what I get. Yep. Uh, now here we go, it's doing the thing again. I don't know why it does this. I'm gonna try something. It's not gonna work. But it's my only other thing I can do other than... Sorry, I'll be right back. I just gotta... I'm gonna try one of the felt ones. Oops, that one's broken. <laughs> Never mind. Way to go, Sean. Eh. Putting in a new, uh... Oops. New brush tip. Okay, let's... At least it's kind of working right now. I'm gonna use that because I've been using the D and D I, the the D and D prompts so much lately. Okay. Sorry, I'm just, I have a uh, book by uh, Chuck Luca, um Luckix called um, Fantasy Genesis Characters. I used it before on this. Um, it has a whole bunch of different things you can use it for, for and I'm in the where you can just, uh, I could just do a numbers generator, but one other thing I want to try is, uh, using, if I still have it, where are, where's my, oh, there it is, my default, my D20. Oh, 
roll. Shake, 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 shake. Five. And just some emotions. So let's draw a few characters. Doing that, and then I'll do some random characters. But I'm gonna Today, <laughs> I don't know why I said today. Why is it doing this? Period. <laughs> there we go. He's such a cheat. I don't care. <laughs> he's a fun one to start off with because he's just... His mustache hides everything. <laughs> and this is the, uh... What's it called? The, uh... The water... The water brush, uh... Actually, I can... I can just... Since I... Since I have all this room down here and his mouth is stretching, I can actually go like this. So he'll actually be laughing in this one. It's supposed to be a giggle, but I'll, I'll give him a... A hearty laugh, because... It's more his... I think a giggle, or a chuckle for him would be hard to detect. I'd have to have a word balloon over his head to say the sh with the sound effect of him him laughing for that to be uh, possible. There we go. Okay. And shake, shake, shake. 18. Nice. This with a... Uh... So wait, is it relaxed or relaxed? Release. Yeah. Uh. Mm 
Yeah, no, that's too vague. <laughs> Like the hand over the heart gesture, kind of. Like she's just like, because the prompt was re relief. So I'm trying to think of like a way of conveying that. The only other thing I could think of I was about to do was uh, <laughs> just giving her have her <laughs> taking an Advil. <laughs> This brush isn't being as much of a difficult. I wonder why it's only ones that have sh like um like ones that have shape, and only sometimes because yeah. No. Okay, well we did that was fun, but I don't. Uh, let's do something more difficult. Well, all right, I can't. All right, we can do what I can do is this three by. Skills. I don't have those. One second. Okay. So, a random number generator, because I have a list of jobs here, and but I, oh, 29. Judge or magistrate? Okay, and for archetype, I can use it. At, there's no such thing as a D12. Yes, there is. I'm dumb. <laughs> a hero. Mermaid judge. Huh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Didn't 
I didn't see that coming. But with uh May on the horizon, I shouldn't be surprised. Too much at the bottom. What should I, what should I think what would be a cool fit? What are you doing, mouth? That's creepy. Stop it. One second. Sorry about that. Okay. There. Let's... Nope. Still being a bug. Okay. Yeah. I guess it's just gonna do that sometimes. <laughs> I don't know why, but... Mermaid Judge... Hmm. Maybe... I do want to do like the old... Yes, but I will. Yes. I have to figure this out. I don't get why it's doing this. What if it's a drive? It must be one of my drivers. It's like the only thing that can make sense. I'm trying to think of what, a cool fish for a judge. I just want to try something unique, like... Huh? Oh, cool. I'll do everything except for the, uh... Fit. Because this is supposed to be a hero, too. I don't know what that means in this case, but... I guess it's hero heroic type. gavel on the stand in front of him. <laughs> See, even this one's trying to be bad. I'm just not letting it.
Ah, that's not a good angle. I'm gonna try again. Eesh, come on brushes, what is going on? Ay gee. Cured. Why are you evil brushes? This is only the first prompt. <laughs> What did he be though? It's like mermaid's such a specific thing that like I'm trying to think of a fun fish to do with that, which is I'll just do a shark. Yeah, some of these jobs don't really fit with anything. <laughs> like. Generator again. Thirty three. Okay. Oh, Jester, okay. That'll be a fun one. A 
Okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I have not drawn this in a while, so this will be fun. <laughs> very... It's supposed to be undead. <laughs> so, I'm like, okay, I, I haven't done this in a while, but sure, I'll give it a shot. I'm not drawing an undead character. Wait a while. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe juggling <laughs> skulls. <laughs> Why not? It's too scary. Uh, well, nah. I could make him juggling his own head, but yeah. Not Halloween. I'm not going super spooky today. It's just a random luck of the draw. I even did this, so it's fun doing a jester, drawing a jester. Though I kind of wanted to do something uh, this body type kind of. Uh, Okay. Let's go back to doing some emotions actually. I kind of like that better. <laughs> it's, it's, this is this would be a good for a speed paint maybe, but oh, Okay, hand gesture. That's that might be kind of cool. 1 through 33. Oops, that wasn't through. Oh well. Oh, cutthroat. Okay. <laughs> This guy would be good for this gesture. <laughs> hmm. 
Now that I got rid of his anime hair, I like him a lot better. Because <laughs> giving him like just curly hair kind of makes me think more of like the uh, green, like the uh, yeah, the green goblin, kind of. And since he is more of like a background antagonist, it makes more sense for him to be kind of like that kind of impish kind of character because nature itself is the bigger threat yeah that's cool I like that Can I draw next? Or can I? Ah. Hey, another visitor. I just noticed. Thanks for dropping by. Sorry about that. Okay. Let's go to a random generator and see what we get next. Um, I'm just going to fix this. This is going to be more like a fun, playful thing where she's just... <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme! <laughs> Kind of almost too perfect. I gotta figure out some way to make her. I mean, she's definitely has confidence issues, but I got to think of something else about her that she has to overcome throughout the story. So I'm worried that she will be kind of too likable. <laughs> That's possible. If it, if not even too likable, just. Nowhere to improve, I guess, is the thing that I'm afraid of with this ca character. But I think the fact that she's naive, or not, she's lived a sheltered life, is really where I'm heading with her, because she's like, lived in an environment where she was, there were, like, um, fairies, I mean fairy type people around, like her neighbors are are orcs, but they're also, ref they're also like um, seeking asylum, like there's, there's like um, ex-soldiers, fa families as well, that hid, w that Richard helped hide um, or I should say Grace helped hide with Richard, the, the two fit her, her family and his teamed up to found this place that they can hide So she's kind of more like 
she thinks she doesn't understand about the unsealy, which is the darker side of um, the the fairy realm. The ones that are more prone to um, kidnapping or hurting like human beings, because the sealy are more like worst case they're mischievous. They might accidentally hurt a person or accidentally lure them into the fairy realm not because they want to hurt them or tr or destroy their life but because they just are in the moment in the mood to play with this human the humans are interesting they want to just have fun with them and they forget that humans aren't <laughs> capable of coming and going from the fairy realm without any re repercussions so sometimes they do trap they accidentally trap people in there so 13 what's the 13 crossed arms okie dokie where should we where should I have do this ah uh, I haven't drawn him in a while, so I'm gonna draw. It's fun to draw. I like. This was one of my original characters that was uh, made into a. He's a, a support character in this. He's the uh, necromancer character. He's a, uh, and he's um, Grace's um, younger brother. So, he's got his own version of being in hiding, but he, like he. Although actually, his in his story, he hasn't. He's not really hiding yet. Like, he doesn't even worry about it until he starts helping them, because no one is even aware of him right now because he's hidden so well. Like only Richard knows how to get to him, and. <laughs> I just like drawing him the receding hairline and like he's just he's kind of like this like Snape kind of character where he's just like part of his um I was gonna have it so that part of his like uh, community service after being on the wrong side of a battle was is that he has to um teach uh, a bunch of um, I'll say middle schoolers just to add insult to injury <laughs> no offense kids but yeah that would be <laughs> and Specifically, um, teaching them magic. But not even his kind, because, like, that would be... He'd like... He would like that. Maybe in like just the anime, give him the anime uh, <laughs> like pulsing vein in the forehead, <laughs> like. <grr. laughs> I 
Cool, that one came out good. Kinda. Well, not really. The, the face did. <laughs> the arms, not so much. I gotta fix those. I mean, like, I like the gesture quality of them. That, that That's good, but... I think I messed up some parts of them. And the thing I liked about this character was that, like, and I, I have an illustration of him that I did earlier this year. Was it this year or end of last year? I think it was last year. Wow. Um, but he's a uh, necromancer, but he, uh, like I said, isn't evil, for one thing. And, uh... Mainly because he doesn't use people. He just think, he think, he thinks that's boring, and he never understood why so many people were obsessed with that. Because he thinks they're useless. They fall apart too easily. So what he uses is a uh, like prehistoric beasts. So. Uh, Which you can, he has, I'm not entirely sure how it worked. I guess some, um, whoops, no, don't do that. What are you doing? I, I lost what I was doing. Never mind. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, one, one more on the uh, just, We'll do uh, one or two more gestures, and then I'll go back to, uh, I'll do uh, more emotions. Or, there's gotta be something else I could do with, uh... I'll find something else. Let's see. There's like, there's like a historical one in here, too, that I kind of want to give a sh uh, try. Uh, what am I doing? My brain, my brain. I forgot that I have this. I'll do that later. I keep forgetting to add in the uh, Be Right Back as a, uh, a cue card. But, listen to right now. Oh, I know what I was doing. My brain just remembered. Um, this. Generate. Okay. Okay, it's supposed to be pointing, but I'm, I'm going to make it like an urgent point, like a... Richard's like... Because I think it was this one comedian I listened to that was so, would always say, like, it's always more um, impactful when you point with your, your entire hand. <laughs> Like, go that way. <laughs> or in this case, he's kind of di using it to display something like, look, 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 it's over here. Wide eyes, like, come on. on the draw. <laughs> like, I'm so glad that I like these characters. I mean, I, I should just do this comic, honestly. Like, I mean, I am right now. Like, I, I started my uh, other channel just for that, mainly. So. And 
I have to look into this, but I don't know if... I don't think Twitch really has, uh, copyright rules. Or not... Well, I guess they do. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to look into it, because I've seen people use, like, just... playlists on there. And... They use... Tw they use, um... Like, uh... What is it called? Uh, did I... They use MP3 player kind of things more on there, whereas here I have to use this. Or I have to go get a membership to a uh, royalty-free music library, and I'm just not impressed with what I've seen so far, because they're unfortunately... I mean, they're, I'm sure they're very talented artists, but... I have very specific things I want to have on in the background when I draw, and I want you to hear them. Like, I want the music to be, like, energized, which is why I don't mind the, these ones, because at least they are, they have pretty good music from what I've heard when I've sampled them. Okay, that's good for this. Um... I'm gonna try something different. Very different. Because costumes. We put our characters in different co these characters in different costumes. That's no. Hmm. Even this isn't great. Because one of them just said North American Indigenous, and I'm like, that's a lot of different things it could be. <laughs> cool. Several hundred. Crazy amount of different cultures to choose from. <laughs> this is a little easier. Time period. Okay, I'll try this. This is much more doable. Let's get them clothing from different time periods. Five. Victorian, of course. Why not? Wait, really? Okay. Ah, oh, that would have been better. Well, you know, I'll do two. find Victorian scientists 
A lot of these are just steampunk. Or just people dressed as um, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> or mad scientists. So that doesn't help. Huh. Really, there's no... Huh. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. Never mind. Because so much of it is just that. It's like... Besides, I still have to draw... I was going to do a... Um, one of the... I wanted to draw, like, I was going to draw Nyla in Victorian clothing, too, so. Let's just put him in something simple. Here's my scratchy style. Okay, I'm just gonna... Borrow... Nah. <laughs> Borrow part of a character's pose. Like... I know this is kind of rough, but I'm just uh, kind of like just uh, working this out really quick while I'm trying to think. He's just having a, a, a spot of tea while he plots. And I just made his hair a little bit more cleaned up and his ears are a little bit lower, not as pointy, or not as pointed up like his ears sometimes are. Like they're more in like a middle range, kind of like...
<laughs> and if I had more time to refine this, I then like an hour. <laughs> Even just for this one, an hour would be not enough. But I'm gonna do a one of Nyla in Victorian. Well. Yeah. So many of these claim to be Victorian, but they're not actually. I think that actually... Oh, um... That would be cool. Yeah, let's do that. I haven't drawn this ever, so this would be really fun to try with her. <laughs> Okay, let's draw her form entirely. I kind of spoiled it already a little bit. And I am copying a, or I'm using, referencing an image called a uh, Rococo Baroque Marie Antoinette. <laughs> I know it's like. I saw that, I was like, yes. <laughs> if Nyla saw this, she would be like, I want that dress. <laughs> Not for <laughs> the field, obviously, but just because it's pretty. She's like, yes, please. <laughs> because she's definitely more into human fashion than... Uh, Grace is. <laughs> Grace is just like, oh, I want clothing that I can use outdoors. <laughs> yeah, Grace would be going into like <laughs> some like hobbyist, like hiking kind of store, like camping store, and uh, Nyla would be hitting everything but that. <laughs> Fins being pushed down by the hat. That's what that is. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, oh, this. This is so much outside my talent. My like uh, typical drawings. I'm actually. This is fun. I don't ever draw this kind of stuff. So. Kind of makes me want to make a character. Have a dress like this. I've seen there's um this one there's several of them actually but they uh these historians on YouTube that uh do fashion and I want to definitely want to look more into their stuff it's there this one woman she's really she's really well informed and she does so much research I can tell and uh if I If I have a maybe I'm if I have a character that, that's like based on a specific era, like maybe I'll I might actually introduce a character who's obsessed with a specific era of of a human history, and he's dressed like that. So.
Yeah, she's holding a mirror. <laughs> she's like, yeah, nice. <laughs> Just you wouldn't be able to see this, but I want to be able to draw her legs. Just so I can see where they where they are. She's tall, so she would actually probably reach below enough that you would see like her actual legs underneath. Yeah, it's messy. Clean that up. Just trying to make her look like she's wearing something nice, but not like she still wants something that she can walk in a little bit. Like they're like she has heels, but they're not like crazy. She's broken. <laughs> Her shoes aren't Victorian. I'm gonna make it so that she's got like regular sandals, actually. Or like sandals with up platforms. Yeah. So she broke up the outfit a little bit. But no one's actually gonna see them normally because probably this would actually go lower. And, uh... I left out a lot. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this, because this is... Again, if, if I really wanted to put the time into this, this probably would be several hours. But I don't want to just spend my time doing one drawing but still it's these are really cool I like this hmm. this would make for a fun thing to do to a character like just have like a And then it's got kind of like these like specks. Like each layer has like a pattern going across it. See, that's just the brush being mean. That's not me. <laughs> okay. How are we doing on time? Probably adding up to some... Oh, wow. <laughs> I think this might be even... Let's do, um... Uh, ten more minutes. So I'll do... I'll start... I'll start one more. <laughs> okay. Sorry, it's just these are actually fun, so I'm I'm, gl I'm so glad I tried this because this is actually pretty cool. Doing different time periods. No, actually that would have been kind of cool, but no. Uh, ooh, this would be good. World War One. I. I have. Hmm. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, cool. 
cool. Yeah. Okay, that's... <laughs> oh, it wouldn't be Pinterest if someone didn't try and, like... put anime in here. <laughs> it's like, okay. Really? That can't be real. Is that real? I don't think they would have worn that. Definitely not that. It's like, <laughs> that's like, um, that looked like something that, like, a woman posing for, to be painted on the side of a plane. <laughs> it's like a pinup girl. <laughs> like, eh, no, not that. Let's see. UK. Well, these are UK guys. What's this? Can't see. Huh. So many pockets. So many pockets. Sorry, I'm trying to find a good. That's possibly one. Uh, but it's possible. Oh, no. No, that's French. But I might choose it anyway. We're American. It's like plenty of pilots, but not much ground troop stuff. Which is weird. This is World War One. You think there would be? A Sorry, I'm just trying to find... Oops, went too far back. Should be good. Yeah, I'll just use this guy. Or I had a better one. Sorry. <laughs> it's like here we go. I know this is well. It's only part of an outfit, though, so I'm not sure if that really helps. Yeah, but it's up here too, so that, that means that it's real. It wasn't... Because for a second I was worried it was just a, uh... Just an outfit made for a movie. Because sometimes they, uh... Sensationalize, like, even the clothing to a degree. But... I guess it depends on the director, so...
Oops. Let's get these two pockets. And then... It's like a... Like a belt there. Level. Did they? Hmm. Do, 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 do. That, wait, is that World War One? I? I thought that that wouldn't be till later that they had these helmets. That's a World War Two, yeah. I was gonna say, I'm like that net kind of helmet wasn't used until later. So, okay, this is the kind, yeah, this, this is more the kind, I was, I thought so, yeah, it's more like the wide brim. Sure, if anyone high ranking would. We'll see for the sake of this that, yeah. Or, wait, uh, just have one second, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> accurate actually except for this part because um, according to this one it goes all the way up to the neck so it doesn't even which works for me because I'm tired of I don't want to have to draw the collar again so I just make it go all the way up to here like under his chin a little Then it just goes down like that. And then it's got uh, two big pockets here. And then two smaller ones underneath it. Oh, this is 
Okay, whatever. <laughs> it says it's a medic's gear, but that's fine. so much time on that that I it's just I spend so much time on this jacket oh my gosh <laughs> so sorry uh, let's just go back I don't know why I cared so much about just the jacket oh. here we go Yeah, because that's what the, met, the British medic. Because they wore, like, ar that's kind of cool. They had, like, armor. Like, it, it, not much. It's just, like, a piece of metal that covered their front. So maybe they could take, it could slow down, like, ricochets, possibly. But. <laughs> I doubt it stopped very many direct shots. Right, um, wasting time, sorry. One second, one second, one second, one second, one second. Where's this? far because his boots would be here. And it's rough and <laughs> This one's very rough because I spent too much time on the jacket. <laughs> Ironic thing was, I was trying to make him look like he was a high ranking, and then I ended up making him something that's not anyway. So, I think it actually would be a color like this. Because then it would have the, uh... This is... I'll have to look it up. I don't know if that was a World War II thing, though. I'd have to look it up. Whatever, we're with, I'm spending too much time on this. <laughs> I thought World War... No, you, World War II was... I think they were using stars by then. For, uh, to show rank on, uh, officers. Punish my. I'm. Okay. Due to my woeful knowledge of World War One, out like military garb, I'm gonna go watch like, some documentaries. <laughs> Thought I knew this stuff better. <laughs> Whatever, that's fine, I guess. How come this thing makes... There we go. Sometimes it makes solid black when I want it to, and then other times it doesn't. Okay. How are we doing? I think that was... Pretty much it. Let's just do a really quick one. What should I do for a quick? Oh, the Egyptian. Uh, okay. Yeah. 
I'll do the Egyptian really quick because that was the first. That was what I was gonna do, but then I re-rolled, so I cheated. Where'd it go? So I'm just gonna go look that up really quick. Uh, or okay, Sumer Sumerian we'll put because Egyptian could be today. <laughs> it's like oh well, yeah, that's right. I forgot that this is like. There's a couple of things I could do. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I mean, this wouldn't be accurate at all, but I'm gonna. But since I have this character and she's a she uses a spear. Maybe she would think that this armor is cool. Kind of like. She's a more. I mean, she's lived long enough to have actually seen this. So, <laughs> not who I thought I was going to finish this with, but. She's a cool character, so, and she's, like, her and the uh, werewolf are important to the story, so. Yeah, it actually would be kind of cool if she had something like this. Like, out of the blue, she just reappears after wearing her punk gear, and she's actually wearing, the, like, this um, Sumerian kind of, uh, well, it's Assyrian uh, armor. And it's proof that, like, you really don't need, I mean, for armor to look cool, <laughs> that's a, it's a, armor just is cool in general. <laughs> You don't have to have it be like always just all plate mail. This is just, um, I don't know what this is. I'd have to look and see what. If that's, um, I think it's just leather? But I could be wrong. There might be like 
little bits of metal sewn into it. But that seems unlikely. I just like these, uh... Like the fact that they have these high boots and everything would be something she'd like. Does it say? I mean, this is someone from Deviant are making this. Johnny Shumate. Yeah, on Deviant Art. Okay. D. So it's in his sources. D. Stoltman. Yeah. Although there's a whole bunch of other people that have similar looking stuff. Anyway, doesn't matter. <laughs> I just wanted to give credit where credit's due on, on like reference when I'm taking from or when I when I'm referencing someone specific. But it looks like a bunch of people are using this are, are have um stuff for this specific uh oops I hope this is actually accurate. Because it doesn't have comments. I do like the, the level of detail in this, though. Like, I don't know if this is 100% accurate, but... It's pretty cool, it, regardless. <laughs> she's got her spear though <laughs> which is ridiculous <laughs> so it's like the only thing that stands out really is she's just got like this huge obsidian edged spear and she just loves to just... that's like big enough that she can ride it like it it, it flies <laughs> I like all the tassels on this, so it would be a nightmare to draw if it was animation, but for a comic that could work. Having your like Oops. Come on, Brush. Don't, don't fail me now. sword here. Oh yeah, I'm liking this. <laughs> one, thing I gotta, one thing I gotta do is push her up a little bit so I can get more of her uh, feet. Okay. 
Come on. Thank you. Cool. I like that. That's pretty cool. That's... I'm so tempted to make this cannon. <laughs> but I'll, we'll see. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll give her something like that. Where she's got like this like... When she, maybe when she later in the story or something she reveals that she does have like actual armor and it looks like this or something. Cool. So um, one thing, one more thing I'm gonna do is just add in some really quick color because this is too cold not to color. So. I'll just do this real quick. Ooh, 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 ooh. See if I can find something a little different. Oh, wait a minute. This looks. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. I see what they did. The funny thing was, I was looking for um, just Egyptian makeup, actually, but uh, then, I, then I came across these this armor, and I was just like, I really want to put one of my characters in this because it looks cool. Especially the helmet. I don't because I, I don't think I've drawn a helmet like this in quite a while, if I have ever. Definitely got a lot of character. And then, of course, she has her purple hair. <laughs> Because everything else is just, um, that one's got, see, don't know if that's accurate though. Oh, that one's even better. Oh, well. 
This, this guy's got an even an even bigger helmet with a point on it. <laughs> like there's this other guy that's got a helmet. It's like whoop. <laughs> it's like whoop. So it looks like a uh, like a Dark Souls kind of helmet or something. But that's good for her, I think. Well, that's my alarm. It's my phone telling me it's lighter. So I think I'm really happy that I was that I stuck through with this though, because this was fun. Going into the history was smart, because uh, I I had a lot of fun with this. So I probably do it. I'm sure I'll do it again. Maybe I'll even do a speed paint. Um, maybe I'll take some of these and make them into speed paints. So uh, thanks for sticking with me through this whole uh, drawing session. I'm glad I got to color, <laughs> even if it is just very basic, like some flats. Uh, see you all on Friday for the fi for the stream. I'll, I'm not sure what I'll be doing yet. Maybe more from this book, but just something different. Or I could, maybe I'll warm up with something from the book and do some uh, comic book pages again. That was fun. And I do need to do more of that now. So, have a great night, and I'll see you at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, on Friday. And please, uh, please subscribe and like the video. It, makes, it helps me out, and I, I like to talk to more of you, so the more people I can... Um, that can uh, watch and comment with me, the more fun this whole thing is. So anyway, well, have a great night and 